So you're thinking about moving to South Florida and why wouldn't you be? This video showcases the best neighborhoods in Fort Lauderdale and why you will absolutely love living here. With the real estate market heating up and what feels like a mass exodus from everywhere, now more than ever, I'm getting calls and texts from people up north and from all over the country looking to relocate and move down to South Florida, which we love. So if there's ever anything in the world that we can do to help you, please call, text, leave a comment down below, and we will be happy to help. And please claim your free South Florida city and relocation guide by clicking the free guide in the banner at the top of the channel or in the links at the bottom of this video, and we will send you one right away. It's gonna tell you everything that you want to know about every city in South Florida. And while you're at it, please like and subscribe to my channel. Boom! Boom, we're live. If you're new to the channel, my name is Chris Igo. I'm a full-time, full-service realtor with an all-star team that services all of South Florida. I make content to showcase exactly what it's like to live in South Florida. I'll occasionally add my opinion or thoughts on really anything I think will help educate or inform to help empower you to make the best decisions for yourself, for your family, and for your financial bottom line. We speak to so many people that are totally fed up with the high cost of living and restrictions elsewhere that I decided to make this video highlight the best neighborhoods to live in in Fort Lauderdale and why you'll love it. Look, moving to a new city is always challenging and a large part of the overwhelming challenge is finding the right place to live. And so that's what this video is all about. We've done the research so it's easier for you. Hopefully at this point, you've seen our neighborhood section in our free city guide, which is located at the top of the channel and the links below. And if not, please claim it now. Without any further ado, let's talk a little bit about Fort Lauderdale's best neighborhoods. What you might not know is Fort Lauderdale has a program for recognizing official neighborhoods. And it's unlike any other city I've seen. It's called the Neighborhood Organization Recognition Program. And it features more than 60 neighborhoods that have received official recognition from the city. And you might be asking yourself, why does this matter? Why is it even important to you? And here's why it's important. It offers you the most robust information about the neighborhoods in the area. So what are you looking for in a neighborhood? If you're considering moving to Fort Lauderdale, and you wanna know the best of what the city has to offer, keep watching. Here are some of Fort Lauderdale's most popular neighborhoods. Number one is Coley Hammock. Coley Hammock? What kind of name is that? A long time ago, developers built the neighborhood on a rise in the ground above the marshes and waterways that were once prominent in the city. They were known as hammocks. Coley Hammock is less than a mile and a half to the beach. It's next to the intercoastal and the New River. It's an eclectic neighborhood with a mix of wealthy and working class families who sometimes disagree about what's best for the community. But it would be boring if everybody in your neighborhood agreed on anything, right? So what's happening in Coley Hammock? And the short answer is, basically everything. We are talking about prime time location. It's right off of Las Olas Boulevard. So you're minutes from boutiques, cafes, dining, entertainment, live music, happy hours, nightlife, entertainment venues. And there's a taste of everything. I mean, the cool thing is you're right next to the action. You've got everything you possibly want. You can walk to museums, art galleries, uh, the post office, pharmacy, whatever it is, it's within walking distance. And literally I'm uh, I'm a mile from Coley Hammock right now. I'm right on uh, the beach watching the sunrise. It's incredible. You can see people biking and, uh, and running clubs going right by. It's, uh, it's a great place to live. I mean, let's face it, location, location, location. And this is the best place to live. You can walk literally everywhere. Now, as far as schools are concerned, Coley Hammock is part of the Broward County public school system. It's zoned for Harbordale Elementary, Walker Elementary, Sunrise Middle, and Fort Lauderdale High School. Now, full disclosure, many residents send their kids to private schools. Homes in Coley Hammock are large, new homes built typically on small lots, and they share the community with condos, apartments, and historic homes. It is incredibly pricey. The number two area you've got to check out is Tarpon River. Tarpon River is located just north of Davie Boulevard and west of Andrews Avenue. Near downtown, this square mile neighborhood has mostly single family homes and plenty of parks. So if you've got kids, they can get their wiggles out. It's got a working class vibe and convenient location next to supermarkets, shopping centers and the water. 
Tarpon River is a great place for families and young professionals. And there's so much happening that's in the area. If you love beer, you're gonna wanna check out the Tarpon River Brewing Company. And you've got all kinds of restaurant options and dining nearby, which include Pirate Republic Seafood, the Hardy Park Bistro, and you gotta check out the River House. For beach action, you wanna check out Sunset Beach. There's also a cool video game museum called Replay Amusement Museum, and it features the world's largest pinball machine. You can go on in there, play pinball. It doesn't require any quarters. It's a lot of fun. And the schools are zoned for Croissant Park Elementary, New River Middle, Stranahan High School, and they're all part of the Broward County school system. And again, many families do opt to go private. You've got Trinity Lutheran School located real close. Homes in Tarpon River are mostly single family homes that were built in the 1950s. They range from two to three bedrooms. Most are single story, but there are some two level homes. There's some duplexes, some bungalows, and some apartments also. The number three neighborhood that you definitely want to check out in Fort Lauderdale is Victoria Park. Well, the sun is so bright, I gots to wear shades. Victoria Park is easily one of the most historic neighborhoods in Fort Lauderdale. It was established in the early 1900s, and it evokes the charm of old Florida, yet maintains the modern and forward-thinking vibe. It's got a community of around 10,000 residents, and it boasts an active civil association which takes pride in its diversity, a mixture of families, gay and straights, singles, couples, empty nesters, seniors, and there's a ton that's going on here, right? And again, with Victoria Park, it's location, location, location. It's bordered by Broward and Sunrise Boulevard, the Isles of Las Olas, the Intercoastal Waterway, the Middle River, and Federal Highway. It's about a mile from Fort Lauderdale Beach, which is where I'm at right now, and it's a short walk from downtown. So you've got some of the best shopping and dining that are all within walking distance. You've got the Galleria Mall and all of the activities at Las Olas Boulevard. It's also got access to five parks. It's close to the Broward Center for Performing Arts, as well as the Parker Playhouse and War Memorial Auditorium. There are also five schools in the area. You've got Fort Lauderdale High School, Harborddale Elementary, Virginia Schumann Young Montessori Sunrise Middle, and it's all part of the Broward County School District. And again, many families elect to go private. Also got St. Anthony's Catholic School. And homes in the area are a mixture of restored older homes, newer townhomes, and condos. The number four area you've got to check out is Harbor Beach. Harbor Beach, and I'm going to be straight up with you right now, Harbor Beach is one of the most exclusive neighborhoods in Fort Lauderdale. There's a reason why it's hidden behind the southern end of Seabreeze Boulevard, because this guarded, gated community is a boater's paradise. Right in the middle of Lake Sylvia, which always seems to be filled with swimmers and boaters, Harbor Town has its own private beach club, complete with a marina. There's plenty of retirees, families with kids, and young professionals who live here and Harbor Beach lies right along the main artery of Fort Lauderdale Beach. So traffic can get a bit crazy around tourist season, and frankly, it's crazy all the time. This is Fort Lauderdale. There's always all kinds of stuff going on. You've got Pier 66, which is just a short walk away, waterfront dining, and one of the best spots in the city to view the sunset. There's also the famous rec bar where you can go and eat, drink, dance, listen to live music. I think they still do a live mermaid show, which you've got to check out. And because the beach is so close, there's all kinds of boating tour companies and opportunities for parasailing, deep sea fishing. And you've also got the Sun Trolley close by, which is super cool. You can hop on it, go further into downtown, or it'll even take you to the airport or many other places in the city as far as schools are concerned. So again, you've got a number of public and private elementary, middle and high schools which serve Harbor Beach including ATC Technical College and High School, Harbordale Elementary, and Cardinal Gibbons High School. Now, of course, you've got Las Olas Isles. Now, I gotta warn you, this is gonna be a little bit confusing because Las Olas Isles is a neighborhood within the larger Venice community, which sometimes is called Las Olas Isles. The neighborhood includes, the neighborhood includes Mola Avenue Isle, Isle of Capri Drive, Bonata Ave, Coconut Isle, Lido Drive, San Marco Drive, Coral Way, Royal Plaza Drive, and the Isle of Palms. The larger area of Venice has more than 300 miles of inland waterways, and it was modeled after the parallel canal system in Venice, Italy. And the truth is, this is the most sought after pieces of real estate in the country. As you might imagine, there's a lot of boating and water sports that go on in this neighborhood. Not only is Fort Lauderdale Beach right there, which is where I'm at right now, 
but you're also very close within walking distance to Las Olas. So you've got plenty of retail, plenty of shops, bars, nightlife, anything you could possibly want. Plenty of attractions to visit. Now, as far as schools are concerned, there are a number of schools that are nearby, which include private Calvary Christian Academy, Harborddale Elementary, Virginia Shulman Young Montessori, as well as other private options that many people do elect to send their kids to. Now, as far as homes are concerned, you're talking about single family, luxury, modern waterfront homes. They are incredible. There's also a few scattered condominium complexes, co-ops and luxury condos. And there's a wide range of older and newer homes that range from, I mean, we're talking baseline here, a million dollars, all the way up to 40 and 50 million. I mean, this is South Florida living at its most exclusive and finest. If you wanna be anywhere, it's exactly right here. I hope you've enjoyed my best neighborhoods in Fort Lauderdale video. Neighborhoods are about location and lifestyle, but more importantly, they're also about the people who live there. These neighborhoods offer a variety of lifestyles to meet everyone and anyone's needs. I hope you enjoyed my Fort Lauderdale neighborhood video, and if you did, please start a conversation down below. Do you love it? Do you want to move here? Do you have any questions? We love living in South Florida and suspect you will too. But the truth is demand is so high and inventory is so low that if you want to live here, you must contact me now. Homes go very fast. There is no time to waste. As a local expert, I typically know what's coming on the market before it even hits the MLS. And once it does, it's typically way too late to get involved. Over the last few years, we've helped hundreds of people buy and sell homes right here in South Florida, and we absolutely love it. As 40-year Florida residents, we know all the best places to fit your desired lifestyle and budget. So if you're even thinking about moving to Florida, you've got to reach out to me. Call, text, DM, send a carrier pigeon, a smoke signal, by any means necessary, because we've got your back when it comes to moving to or living in South Florida. And until next time, 